Hello, so in this video I'm going to be stuffing a journal. So I'm gathering up some papers and getting ready to put them in the journal that's already completed and getting ready to mail it out to Pennsylvania. So this journal is going to go to Tessie from Homestead Tessie, which is on YouTube. You can follow her and hope she enjoys this. decided to put that and if you want to see how I made these tags you can look at that video so let's just flip through and decide where we want to put some more color This is funny. This is Franklin D. Roosevelt and her distant cousin. The look on her face. It's funny. This tag I had already made up, so I can just put that in there. Have a little lace peeking out. more color right there to pick up on that green. This looks good the way it is. This is black and white and these colors are all good but you know I have uh, because this is coming from Rhode Island I found this book that is an entertainment book that I just picked up for free and I just take pages out of it and just put them in as ephemera right so maybe we'll put it in on this side because the black and white and I have this that's gonna go somewhere but I'm gonna look for something that's got some green in it another rusty paper clip oh this has got the green right here perfect see and it's got that we'll go with that doesn't need much more than that, does it? Except for maybe I'll float this in just as a writing space. It feels like it needs something up here though. Hmm. What can go up there? A light bulb? 
Nope, there's a flower there, so. Um, that might have to be for another, for me to think about for a little bit. You know, this is just sitting on my desk. So, bingo. What's wrong with that? I say nothing. A little bit of glue. And that's good to go. And what have I done here? Glued this together. Oh dear. Oh, I don't know if I wanted to do that, but well, I guess that'll be like a little place. Hey, how about if we put this in there? This is a floating pocket. Yeah, that was a happy mistake. Got an old um, music and an old dictionary. And this is when I made it, January 7th, 2021. Yellow and green, looks great together. And let's see what else I have in here. Maybe this bookmark I was gonna throw in. And I have this, this is from Butterfly Kisses, the book, and I think this blue could pick up on the other side, blue that blue, for there. So we'll just do this, and I think I'm gonna paper clip this with a white one just to some nice little magazine pictures in there. Now this, I'm wondering, I had this, this is peach and pink. I had made this the other day too. I think I'm gonna put this in here. Yep, that looks great, I think. This is from Secret Garden. And some more flowers and not this goes picks up on that. And not everything has to have a ephemera in it, right? We'll leave some of these things. We got a little bit of danglies on there. This Tim Holtz packaging looked great. Beside the bunny. Um maybe I'll put this over here just to just to pick up the um, colors, cover up the tim the packaging and inst uh, information, and see if I can get a different kind of. I had some little little, little paper clips. Might change it out later, but for now we'll just paper clip this in here. And these colors speak for themselves, don't they? Although this is nice too. I'm just chock filling this up with all kinds of nice, interesting things. This is more of Anna Roosevelt. And then I have this last signature that's a little surprise. I'll just open this up, and this is a nice quilt square from a shop that I shopped in and there's a little story behind it but that's okay another time there we go all of this and a little envelope in here to tuck things in and what am I gonna tuck in here 
I'm looking on my desk to see what I can tuck in there. And what am I finding? Hmm. Maybe I'll just leave that for her to tuck something in because there's plenty of things over here. And there's a little writing pad. That way if she wants to tuck something in there, she can put her own little things in there. And that's that. Okay. So that's how you stuff a journal to get it ready to go into the mail. And I am done with that. Now I'm going to package it up and send it off to Pennsylvania. Now I'm going to wrap this journal in this really pretty paper that I received from Daphne's Diary. I entered a contest and I was chosen a winner, so let's pay it forward and give some to somebody else to enjoy. I'm going to loosely wrap this and then put it in my box to send to Pennsylvania. Thank you, and thank you, Daphne. So, thanks for watching with me today, Stuffing a Journal. I will talk to you on another time.